Hey guys, Mike Vulcan here with Freelancer Masterclass. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. We talk about all things freelancing. Today we're going to talk about Upwork's new feature, Projects, also called Upwork's predefined projects or Upwork's pre-packaged projects. Today we're going to talk about how to really generate some good revenue and some good attention using uh, these pro this new projects feature. And we're going to discuss uh, ways to maximize your exposure. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into it today. We're going to be talking about Upwork's catalog projects, also called predefined projects, also called pre-packaged projects, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk about some best practices and way to get ways to get the best exposure. But first, let me talk about our sponsor, which keeps the great content on this channel going, Cover.ai. Go ahead and use that referral link so they know I sent you. Uh, it's a great way to get uh, corporate benefits for freelancers and small agencies like myself. You can get paid time off, sick leave, 24-7 health service, and more like legal help and bookkeeping. It's a, it's a really innovative com company, and I love the fact that they're sponsoring this channel uh, because it allows fresh, more frequent content. So please go ahead and use that referral link to let them know uh, that uh, I sent you, okay? Uh, and I'll put the link below in this, in this uh, video description. So what is an Upwork catalog project? Well, um, for a client, it's a way to find exactly what they want without having to go through the process of posting projects and asking freelancers for bids and then evaluating freelancers. All right. It's much like the structure of Fiverr. So if you haven't been to Fiverr.com before, go ahead and check it out. Um, you know, I'm not, if you follow me, I'm not a huge fan of Fiverr, um, but uh, it is a setup just like that. So there's projects with prices, um, that you can just kind of click now or buy now uh, when you click the, uh, the buy button, okay? Um, so why is it important for freelancers, right? It's a great way to get revenue without having to go through the process of reading job descriptions, determining and sending a price, um, negotiating, uh, setting up a discovery call and scheduling that, all right? Um, so it's a, it's a lot shorter process for both freelancers and clients. And for those of you that are wondering about the fees, it's actually treated the same way as a fixed price project, which is 20%, which is very reasonable. And I know a lot of people complain about that from a free, uh, freelancing perspective, but really if Upwork didn't exist and other platforms like Upwork, um, you'd have to go through the process of, you know, learning about how to market yourself, learning how to set up funnels and paid ads, right? And that takes not only a lot of time, but it does take about 20%, if not more. So um, I wouldn't complain about the, the 20%. I think it's very reasonable. I was freelancing long before Upwork came along and uh, my fees to acquire a client were usually about 20 to 30%. And I'm a marketer, so I can't imagine what it would be if you don't know marketing or had to learn it yourself, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and set up a project together so you can watch this uh, process. If you've already set it up, um, and you're looking for tips on how to, you know, maximize your exposure, go ahead and skip uh, through this video, you know, another 30 seconds or a minute, but I'm going to go uh, take those who haven't set up a project before through the process. So let's go do that. Okay. So here I am on Upwork's homepage. And what you want to do is click find work at the top and then go to my project dashboard. All right. So here you're going to see uh, my projects here and that they're active and visible. But what you want to do if you're new is click create project. And then uh, you're going to see a little bit um, uh, of a description of tell the client uh, what you want to deliver. So it's going to actually front load the first three words for you. You will get, so this is what the title will read. You don't want to put you will get, and then you will put um, you will get again. You don't want to do that because um, it's already started the sentence for you. So they actually, this part in light gray is just a suggestion. I wouldn't suggest using the suggestion because everybody else is going to be using the suggestion. So you don't want to start off with a fantastic, right? Because look at that. It's already suggesting a fantastic deliverable that drives impact, right? You will get a insert adjective here and then what specifically you're delivering. Top notch entrepreneur coaching call, entrepreneur coaching call. Okay. So then we're going to select the category. This is just like setting up a project. If you're a client, you're familiar with this. Um, you can actually type in what you want, or you just select this little uh, green uh, select all or see all categories link. And you can just go to, in this case, it's a marketing project. Actually, no, it would be a business project. So I'll go to consulting and HR, and then I would select um, business uh, consulting. I think that's the best category. There might be more than one, but um, then go ahead and click save. It's optional, but you can choose up to three. Now, in my case, entrepreneur coaching, I can do any one of these, but I'm gonna choose my top three favorite. So just for the sake of this 
um, video, let's just go ahead and select three that I know I like. Um, environmental, sports and fitness, and marketing and advertising. Okay, of course you check whichever one you want and then click uh, save and continue. Okay, now in this section you have the option, just like on Fiverr, to choose tiers. You can choose up to three, okay? So what I like to do is if you're new and you have something very specific, let's just go ahead and toggle this to off. That way there's only one package that you're offering. But if there is a, a tiered package, like for example, logo designers might want to do something like, I'll give you one logo design, I'll give you three logo designs, I'll give you five logo designs, right? And then you just put in um, how much of each, uh, how much time of each and what the project is of each. But let's go ahead and keep this simple. In my case, in this particular project, there's only one. So I'm going to deliver this within five days, delivery day. And then the live consultation, meaning an entrepreneur coaching call is usually about 30 minutes long. And then the project pay, uh, price. So in my case, it'll be 125. Okay. So then I click save and continue. And now this is where you want to upload an image. Now in this case, um, I just go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and later on in the presentation, talk to you about uh, the best practices for images, but let me just go ahead and upload one. All right. I went ahead and uploaded one. It'll show in a minute. I'm going to click save and continue. And then this is where we want to talk about very specifically what we're going to deliver uh, in terms of a project summary. So, uh, and you don't need to talk about steps or frequently asked questions. You can do that here in this section. You just really want to talk about what they're going to be getting. What does an entrepreneur call in this case mean? Uh, what does a logo delivery mean, right? So uh, you want to go through that process here and we're going to talk about that later on in this presentation. So we'll just go ahead and type in anything right now. Okay. Um, you're going to need to add a step, meaning what is the first step? So in terms of like um, the very first step is I'm going to want to talk to this person on the phone and discover what type of entrepreneur coaching they need. Do they need help with um, their productivity? Do they need help with their business or do they need help with their staff? So I'm going to say um, step one is uh, let's get on a discovery call. And then I'm going to describe what a discovery call on uh, our 30 minute discovery call. We will discuss, right? And then I'll just describe it, right? I'll just, for the sake of this video to keep it short, I'll just put dots here and I'm gonna click add. All right, so if you wanna ask, uh, if you wanna add frequently asked questions, you can. I'm not going to in this case, but really this is a, a very, a really good way for you to anticipate questions that they might ask uh, that you haven't answered in your um, description. So go ahead and say something like, um, you know, in this case, what is your experience coaching, right? And then you say, you know, I've got 15 years experience, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel this, but that's how you would do that. I'm gonna click save and continue. Oh, it says the description is too short. It needs to be 120 characters. So for this case, I'm just putting a bunch of Latin phrases or whatever nonsensical terms, but um, you're gonna have a fully fleshed out description that needs to be at least 120 characters. I forgot to mention that. All right, save and continue. All right, so then this actually is required. Uh, what do you need to start? So unlike the steps, this is specifically what information you need from them. So in this case, you might say, um, this isn't really true, but I, you might say, uh, need access to uh, Google Analytics, um, any brand guide, you know, thinking about just stuff I would need to better learn about their company. Um, so. What I would do in this case is just put free text, but you can actually have a multiple choice or even have them attach a file. All right, so if ha attaching a file is great if they just need to give you a, um, uh, you know, a brand guide, for example. And multiple choice is great is like if you just want to ask them, do you have a brand guide? You know, and then they would say in the multiple choice, yes or no. All right, uh, free text will often do fine um, if it really doesn't need to be that structured. Okay, so I'm going to click save and continue. It's actually required, so I'm going to put um, access to GA, just Google Analytics, just putting something there. And then also, you can check if this is a mandatory requirement. You don't need that, um, but I'm going to check that here, and I'm going to click Add. All right. So in this case, I'm just going to save and continue, but you can always add more requirements if you like. All right. Um, now, this is important. Now, how many can you realistically? take on? How many clients can you realistically take on at once? If you can only do one of these and it takes up your entire day, only put one. Um, but you can do a maximum of five. If you put seven, it'll say um, uh, five is a maximum. Uh, and then you click um, the Upwork Terms of Service and Agreement. Say yes to that if you agree with it. And then the Privacy Notice. You want to check that as well. And then you click Submit for Review. I'm not going to. I'm just going to click 
um, back for, or I'm just going to X out of this for now. But you can also save this if you just want to get something going and not submit it for review yet. Um, maybe you want somebody on your team to review it, or you want to think about, you know, it before you flesh it out. So um, let's go ahead and just X this out and go back to the presentation. All right, so that's an example of how you would set up a project. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure that um, you flesh out the steps and what is required. So when you do get something in, it minimizes communication that's needed from the from the client. Okay. Um, so how to maximize exposure. So this is a new program. What I'm going to do is talk to you about the best practices, uh, meaning from a marketing standpoint, knowing what I know, um, uh, with all my history of of kind of. Uh, analyzing the Upwork algorithm and what's going to work and what isn't. We're going to talk to you about um, best practices for images, communication, uh, spying, how to spy on other people that have the same services as you, and then specificity. So let's go ahead and go through the images first, okay? Uh, all images should have a consistent theme or color. And let me just show you an example. So here are my approved projects. You will see all these images are the same. All right, they just have different titles. So they have the same brand. And the reason why you wanna do this is the way it looks, all right? So for the coaching one I just gave as an example. All right, so the reason why you wanna do this is because when a client is browsing through the various catalogs, they will eventually, uh, if they do enough searching, they will see that you are, um, you have multiple skills, right? They're not, they're gonna be able to recognize that, oh, that's the same person I just saw for coaching, can also do my marketing funnel review. It's the same person. Oh, I just hired this person for coaching, I didn't realize he also does marketing funnel reviews. Let me hire him, I liked him, he did, he did great, okay. Here's a tip, you can actually um, use Canva, if you're familiar with that, or Unsplash, same, very similar, okay, to find great images to represent your work. You saw my example, I had like me holding a megaphone and like a pixelated background that's, um, you know, that was yellow. Um, you can have any style you want. You can go to Canva, type in um, whatever you're offering. Maybe you're a design freelancer or a, or a marketer. Just start typing in keywords and seeing what, what um, gives you inspiration. And maybe you can use that, even purchase uh, one of the, the images from Unsplash or use an image of, of your own just using Canva and Unsplash uh, as inspiration. Canva will help you set up a nice um, fully framed uh, picture if you don't know how to use Photoshop. All right, so let's talk about communication. You want to cl clearly communicate your title, all right? So let me give you an example of a bad title. I will help you with your marketing. That's too general, right? It doesn't tell the pre person exactly what it is you're going to help. Marketing is such a, a big term. Like, I will help you with design. Like, what does that mean uh, exactly? Does that mean web design, print design? Um, it could mean a lot of different things. So in this case, I will help you with your marketing. Should be, I will help you with your insert skill marketing. So I will help you with your... SEO marketing, your search engine optimization. I will help you with your um, conversion rate optimization marketing. I will help you with your growth marketing. I will help you with your inbound marketing. There's a lot of types of marketing. Okay, here's a bad example. I will help you grow your company. That could mean anything, okay? I will help you grow your company by um, improving the graphics on your website. I will help you grow your company by giving you better organic presence on the search engine. You know, whatever that is, you want to be specific here, all right? You want to clearly communicate your description as well. So let me help you with your marketing funnel isn't exactly uh, the best description. You want to flesh it out more. Upwork doesn't restrict the amount of um, uh, a description like they do in the title. It's 120 characters. So uh, you have much more uh, leeway to describe it. So I will review and provide feedback on your marketing funnel so it converts higher and brings in more revenue. So you want to say, I will do this very specific item, so it will produce that, all right? All right, so let's talk about spying. So what, what are others doing? And we, in marketing, call this a skyscraper technique, okay? So what you do is you want to go into the projects from a client's point of view and browse um, other keywords that are very similar or exact to the ones that you're going after, all right? And then you want to see what they're saying about their project. What did they list as, you know, being specific? Uh, what is their title? And you don't copy them, but you take that as inspiration. You build upon it and you make it your own. All right. So always do some sleuthing or some spying to see what else is out there to see how you can improve yours. And I recommend you do that for your, your regular Upwork profile as well. All right. Now, remember. We talk about this and when we talk about the, the title and the description, it's all about specificity, okay? The more specific you are, the better. If you are specific to an industry, let's say you only work in the automobile industry, only work in the 
e-commerce industry, right? You want to call out an industry or a demographic. So in my case, I love working with serial entrepreneurs. I may update my job, my, uh, my projects on that, but right now I'm not. But uh, if you only work with a specific demographic, go ahead and call that out as well. Remember, you want to go spear fishing and not cast a net. So in this case, this picture, this person is looking for a very specific type of fish. He knows what he wants and his, and his, um, his tools that he has uh, proves that he's going after it. Now, in your case, your language on your project is your tool. You want to show that the, the language in your project is to show who specifically you're talking to. This person right here is just casting it. He's like, hey, I'll take anything in this area, all right? Uh, that I might get a few different fish, uh, might get some that I don't want, but in, I'm going to get some fish, um, and, but the, the spear fisherman is going to get what he wants ultimately, okay? All right, so um, I will make more project or more uh, your videos about this catalog projects section um, in the future, but this should get you a good start and to uh, start bringing in the, the clients uh, that you want without having to do uh, the proposals and the bids and the discovery calls and whatnot. So uh, go ahead and get started with Upwork catalog projects. Good luck.